Hey guys, thanks for joining me. My name's Chris with BZB Gear. Uh, today we're going to be introducing how to stream BZB Gear's uh, live IP PTZ camera uh, directly from the camera. So many of you are used to using software streamers. Um, some of you are used to streaming from the camera directly. So this is basically a simple way to do that with Facebook. So we've already changed our uh, settings. If you haven't changed your settings yet, please visit um, how to network your IP uh, PTZ camera. We've got a little video on that to give you a demonstration. So let's get started. Make sure um, your camera here is connected to your LAN. Uh, personally, I like to use a LAN cable to connect to the laptop. Uh, Wi-Fi is great in a pinch, but you're always going to get more latency. So if you have the option, definitely use the Ethernet cable for a hard wire. So first, uh, make sure you got a Facebook account, of course. Got to have that to get anywhere. Uh, once you've got your Facebook account all set up or you're ready to or familiar with how to uh, go to the video, live video, post photos, whatnot, you're good to go. So first, uh, as you can see here, I'm at my uh, camera screen, which has got our username and password. By default, this is admin, admin. And here's our preview of our camera over uh, in the corner for our studio. You can actually control everything here um, as far as zooming in and zooming out, which is always convenient. Focus mode, there's a manual mode as well. Um, so let's get started. We're gonna go to our configuration page. And as you can see um, here, we have our tree with all our different options for setting and configuring. Uh, we're gonna end up going to stream publish. So stream publish is where we're going to input our host uh, URL as well as our stream key and um, our host port. Let's go back to uh, Facebook now. So here is our page. We are going to select live. So if you have a personal page, um, you'll see you can go to your actual icon onto your personal page. There's a couple different ways to do it, but this is the simplest. Um, so let's click live. All right, so as you can see here, um, we have some different uh, options here as far as looking at our stream health, polls, questions, whatnot. This is where a video is gonna go. So currently it's waiting for a video. And we are gonna say use stream key. This would be more or less if you're using a conference camera, USB camera, you can do it that way as well. So here we have our live stream setup. These are what we're gonna copy paste into our camera's um, web GUI. So server URL, I'm gonna copy this guy. And I'm gonna put that here on our host address. I'm gonna erase that guy, or you can copy paste over it, whatever you feel like doing. Stream key. And paste. Again, this is our mainstream. By default, this is typically unchecked. We wanna make sure that's checked. Once we realize we have this in, another important um, factor is our host port. So 1935 over here is di by default, you will notice on your camera, that is for YouTube. So that's the number you're gonna want if you're streaming to YouTube. However, if you're streaming to Facebook, we're going to enter 443. So at this point, this is pretty much all you have to do, which is amazing to me. Um, simpler than you know dealing with a DVD player in some ways. So here we go, we're gonna hit save. Upon hitting save, it'll tell you the parameters of successfully saved. Then we're gonna go back to our live feed. And within seconds, we have contact. So as you can see, it's given us an idea of what our audio is. And again, with your audio, I recommend selecting AAC here in this tree. You can go to your audio configuration. There's uh, MP3 and AAC is the most popular. I go AAC. I also recommend changing your bit rate to 128 kilobytes per second. Um, your channel into stereo, unless you've got a mono situation, and your input volume. Again, this is if you want to connect, um, say, a microphone, so you can actually have the camera go ahead and receive the audio, and then transfer it over to um, your live stream. So again, this is all set. You want to make sure you hit save. And then again, here we go. And you can see stream health here. Gives you some uh, basic ideas of where you're at, what's going on, resolutions. And essentially, folks, 
that is it. It's as simple as that. But again, if you got any questions regarding the network setup or um, any specifics, you can always give us a call here at BZB Gear Support. We're here to help. Email us, give us a chat on the website, whatever's convenient for you. We are always willing to get you through your project and help you out the best we possibly can. Um, that's pretty much it. If you got any other questions, uh, again, call us, but have a great day and we'll hope to see you soon um, on our site. Visit BZB Express TV on YouTube. Thanks guys, have a good one.